You know, Florida State's been one of the best, one of the best women's soccer programs for a long time. And now, and now we are one of only six schools in the NCAA, in history of the NCAA, to win multiple titles. That's a pretty cool company. Isn't it? Right. What's even more impressive is how the team came together toward the end of the season to win the ACC championship. Uh, then they knocked off, as, as Tom said, each of the past three NCAA champions, uh, UC, USC, Penn State, and Stanford, to get to the title game. To say these women, uh, you know, are battle-tested is an understatement. You guys really were. You really are. Gene and I were obviously thrilled to, to be there and uh, to go to North Carolina. It's not exactly a neutral site, by the way, in case you all didn't know that. <laughs> Not exactly a neutral site. I'm hoping our athletic director can work on that in the future, you know, but it we'll, wouldn't be great to have one here in, in Tallahassee, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's in, in spite of seeing all that powder blue, uh, the Seminole spirit was strong. I, and I hope you ladies heard that. I hope you heard it because uh, it was truly an amazing uh, victory and amazing to be there. There's so many incredible moments uh, during the championship run, but Dallas's gold off of Dania's uh, pass, uh, it looked great to me. I mean, I don't know about that. I mean, where are y'all? Where are y'all? Where are y'all? Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. It was fantastic. It was fantastic. And talk about fierce, fierceness. You guys never gave up, and it was fantastic. And. Uh, how about the defense? Everybody, everybody plays defense, right? FSU's, FSU's defense allowed just two goals during this six-game title run. Just two goals. Posted three shutouts to close the season out. The last two were, of course, for the, for the final four. We, uh, we enjoyed following the team uh, all season. I didn't get to as many games as I had hoped to this year because of other things that were going on in our world. But uh, I watched it as much as I could and watched you all. And, uh, you know, I know there were a few rough spots along the way. Uh, uh, I know that, uh, but as a family, you guys came together. Some of you had to go off for a while, right? I mean, some of you had to leave and do other things, and I, I understand that. But when you came back together, when you came back together, you accomplished amazing things. Seminoles proved beyond any doubt that they were the best team in the nation. Absolutely. The other thing I would tell all of you all out there, because I, I have heard it from the coaches, I've heard it from others, that these women are role models and their <laughs> success goes well beyond just the field. They're some of the best students we have. Gabby, where's Gabby? Gabby? Stand up. Gabby. Gabby, Gabby won the NCAA Elite 90 Award for a 4.0 grade point average. Wow. And this team, this team as a group, carried a 3.2 grade point average. Can you believe that? And they gave back to the community. They always do. They gave back to the community through outreach programs like the annual Kick It for Autism Clinic that benefits the FSU Center for Autism and Related Disabilities. And thank you. Thank you for doing that. Coach K. Couldn't be prouder of you, sir. Thank you for everything you have done for Florida State University.